All right, so next up is the Orwell factory over here. So heading off to this place. God, you know what? This is such a not great side quest. Well, it's a required quest, so you have to do it, but it's not very interesting or anything, so I do apologize. I would cut it, but like you j we're just going to like places right next to each other, so it's not really worth a cut. I do feel like some of the, um, like, some of the quests in this game can be a little pandering. I, I don't know if pandering is the right word. Um, it elongates the game. Or elongates, and I'm sorry, I'm not good. But... It makes it longer than it needs to be at some points. Like, some of the, some of the, like, field study quests, I feel like... There's a little too much, I guess. Like, pizza boys. They can drag on a bit, is what I'm trying to say. So, it can be a little... Like, I can see how that would... Like, quests like these could turn people off of the game. I do feel like the payoff by the end is really worth it. And, like, every... Like, the overarching major main story is worth it in the end. But I can see how, like, parts like this would be, like, so, like, uh, You know? So, I hope you don't mind too much. I hope I make it somewhat interesting. So. But yeah, I, I do recognize that about the game. I do feel like... I don't think these are perfect games or anything. I do like to sing their pra praises quite a bit. Because I do... I do really enjoy them. Like, I, I love these games a lot, but I can see how, like, quests like this can be a little, like, you know, like, uh, alright, come on, you know? Especially for a Let's Play, like, when, when I'm playing a game alone, I don't, I don't look at it like this. Like, I, I don't look at it with, like, an eye of, like, oh, right, come on, we gotta, we gotta get going to more story, you know? I, I just, I like to take my time, you know? Like, I, I move pretty slow when I play games on my own. So, I, d I don't try to rush things out or anything. And I, I'm not saying I do that for videos, but I do like to make sure that things are moving in more consistent rate. Like, there's something going on, you know, once a video or, you know, at least something going on that makes it interesting, you know. So... The cutting edge fish. I don't know. It's something to talk about because it is sort of a flaw if you're not into that stuff. But if you're playing JRPGs, you know, if, if JRPGs are your thing, then I'd have to assume that you're a pretty patient person. Even RPGs in general, I'd, you have to be a pretty patient person to sit through, like, even like a Final Fantasy game. Like, you know, I would say these games, like, are way more diverse and intricate than Final Fantasy, in my opinion. But, regardless, that same sort of patience you need to have for regard whatever game you play, really. Um, but mostly RPGs, so. It's so easy to talk about stuff like that, you know? It's an interesting topic. I always feel like I really want to do, like, a podcast or something, like, on whatever. But I'm so, like, lazy about it. Like, if I actually ever started a podcast, I'd be like... Like, I know I'd be too lazy to do it. Like, I'd do it once and I'll be like, eh, I don't know if I feel like doing it this week. And that'll continue on, like, every week. Regardless, though, that is pretty much it. So we fit, we talked to every single person. We got all the comments. And, uh, this should be the end.
Hey, thanks. I'm glad it worked out. Maybe Reen found his true calling as a photographer. So he's going to be giving us the Intimidation Quartz, which I really don't remember what that does, so I guess we'll find out together. Alright, you have fun at work, bro. So Chronicles of the Chronicle completes, so that's our first quest done. Um, what the fuck is this thing? Um, where do I go? God, it's been a while, so I'm sorry. Intimidation makes enemies on the field more likely to run from you and also gives you phantom phobia which is one of the best um, spells like in the game um, which I'm going to put on Elliot. So uh, let me look about it. Like I don't want enemies to run away from me but that's a really good spell. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on. Alright, so next up, we're going to be taking care of the side quest. So, we're going to head over to... To... To Alto Street. Because we need to head over to the cafe. And there should be some old dude in here, I think. Yeah, what up, man? Oh, nice. What'd you play? I'm guessing he played piano or maybe the, um, the thing over there, I don't know what it's called. It's not a violin, it's like a very- it's one of those big violins. <laughs> I need to catch up on my my sound euphonium lore. Then maybe I would know. Anyone like that anime? I think it's pretty good. I like the girls. Reina's pretty hot. I just wish- okay, real talk, we're gonna rant about sound euphonium for a bit because Kumiko and Reina really need to get together. Like, the lesbian- the Yuri, the Yuri vibes are like super hard in that, in that show, and it, it sucks that Reina really wants to bone the teacher. Just saying, like that's like the most random thing I could talk about in this let's play. <laughs> so I apologize. Well, shit. Yeah, that's kind of bad luck. Amber Amore. Hmm. It's going to be kind of hard to find. What bad timing.
So I guess we're going on wild goose chase. How much you giving me? 50k? Can I look to see how much that is? Probably not, but I'd be interested. <laughs> Alright, so Amber are more, so I want to look to see if we can see how much that is, just out of curiosity. Um, record money. No, it is. It's just nothing. I didn't know I had 13 new materials. That's pretty good. Alright, so, let's go see if we can talk to uh, Elliot's sister real quick. And I would teleport over, but it's like right here, so, not too worried about it. <laughs> hey, sis. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> pretty sure it will me. Maybe we can ask like the record company to send it, you know? That is quite a strange suggestion. Yeah, Elliot, aren't you lucky? You better say yes. <laughs> Alright, so let's head over to Plaza Bifrost. God, that is such a weird name. Like, am I the only one thrown off by that name? <laughs> yeah, she, she loves Elliot, so. Why are you jealous? You have a sister who loves you too. <laughs> She's just not- she's just the younger sister. <laughs> Alright, so head over to Veniquir Street. I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Venic- Veniquir? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna say Veniquir. Um... Yeah, very odd suggestion, but, you know, it's someplace probably no one has looked, so... Why not? So we want to go ahead and talk to this girl right here. Sure. I'm sure it's kind of a difficult request, to be honest, so... Um... You know, I, my, my expectations are quite low, to be honest. Yeah.
See, that was what I was thinking. But, oh yeah, but the problem is he needs it tonight. So that is a problem. Yeah. It's only good if we can get it, like, right now. So... The Oz District. Well, I don't see why there wouldn't be. Oh yeah, Machias lives in that district. Why didn't you think of this, Machias? Oh, well shit, we should go check that out. Machias, what are you doing? Why didn't you think of this? Alright, let's head over to the Oz district, which we're probably gonna get a cutscene once we get there, since we haven't been there yet. Alright, thanks a lot, Cilia. Have a nice day, all that jazz. On to the Oz District. I'm pretty sure each um, district you go to, you're going to get a new cutscene. And since we haven't been to this district yet, we're going to get a cutscene. You're like, whoa, this is super cool. Holy shit. Dude, check out that cat. That's not a cat. That's a... That's a werewolf. Dude, there, there really is a cat! Holy shit, you called it. Did you see that cat, bro? That was sick. So this is the district where Magius was born and raised. You know, like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, he was born and raised. I don't remember, like, the whole song, so I'm sorry. Well, that's good. I I guess. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, Osborne is pretty famous for like being like, "Okay, nobles, you, you suck, okay? You know, fuck the nobles. We're just going to like make it so everything's fair." And like that's respectable, because nobles are such a... I mean, you've seen from, like, Patrick and, like, the school, Thor's Military Academy, and, like, Berea Hard. The influence from the nobles are so, like... It's so grand. It's, like, untouchable. And to have someone like Machias' father and Osborne in power, like... It really, like gives a divide it gives a strong divide and like gives um the like commoners like someone to rely on people to rely on and also gives them like a like a a foot you know it gives them a hand i don't know where the foot came from <laughs> it gives them a hand and like helps them out so it's not just like nobles ruling all of Arbonia, so. Sure. I'm sure by the end of this trip we'll have talked to everyone in this in the um well not everyone in each district, but a pretty good amount in each district. For now though, um uh, Machius' home is right there. 
And then we need to head over to um, the general goods place. Hey, look at this cute girl. Oh, well, nice. Sure. I pretty much got all the time in the world, so... Oh, well, shit. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> That's perfect. Ten whole percent off the original price? Whoa. Fair enough. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, I'm surprised you're selling it below original price. Yeah, we're gonna take it. Just take this money. <laughs> Alright, so we found the, um, the thing. So let's head on over to back to Alto Street. And, like, the quick, tr the quick travel is so good because I don't even need to, like, cut to each place. I can just, like, b boom, boom, and I'm there, so... Lucky me, right? If I was playing Trails in the Sky, I'd be fucked. Because I would actually have to run back everywhere. Well, good. It was all worth it in the end. So he's going to give us uh, five wobbly puddings. I don't know why it's called a wobbly pudding. Um, I guess if you like shake a pudding, it's wobbly. But like wobbly is such a weird word. You wouldn't like assume it like be part of a... Like a pudding name, you know? <laughs> like, hey man, what, what are you gonna have today on um, coming to the bar? Like, you go into a bar, you sit down, like, I'm gonna have like a hard ass, like, mojito or a Manhattan. And also, I want a wobbly pudding. Oh, he's gonna play it for us, cool. That's nice. Well, cool. Alright, so next up, um... God, we have two more quests to take care of. This is taking a little while, so I apologize. Um, quite a few quests to do, so... It's, it's part, of, part of, uh... Part of the game. Next up, we have to head over to Dreykel's Plaza. So, um... I think before we head there, I'm going to make a small cut, so I'll, I'll uh, make that cut and then we'll head over there. So I'll see you in a small... I'll see you in a hot minute. Alright, so we're back. So let's actually head over to Dreykel's Plaza now. 
And we can get started on the next quest to do, so that'll be a grand old time. Don't mind the um, glitching tram, by the way. You know, it's part of the it's part of the experience. So that is Valflame Palace, where the Imperial family lives. So, you might want to keep that in mind. Um, it's also, of course, this the um, plaza is based off Emperor Dracul's. So, and there's also a statue of him in the center of the plaza. So there you go. So you can see like how well respected Emperor Dracul's is in this country, and you know it's it's. It makes sense, because he kind of found the place. Um, for now, though, we need to go do a couple things. We need to head southwest down into the um, that person. If you head up north, you can actually do um, another... I don't think it's it's a quest. Here's the statue of Emperor Dracul's. He strikes quite a stately pose. Weird to think he's the one who founded our academy. He's pretty cool. So yeah, so there's Emperor Dracul's. You can read the thing and it's like, yo, it's Dracul's Rice Arner. He's pretty cool. Um, I don't believe up there is a quest. I think it's just like a cutscene. I don't know, but we'll wait on it for now. Um, for now, we want to go talk to the gelato girl. I'll take lemon. Fee with the best choice in gelato, just saying. Hey, don't worry about it. I want to buy some gelato. I'm sure Fee does too. Fee, Fee really wants some gelato. Well, shit. Way to go, man. Talking about how you have a nice hat and then you just drop it. So, we should probably return this hat. <laughs> probably. And considering how large this city is, it might be kind of a difficult task. So 20s, okay, he's not that old. He did mention he was from the Oz District. Hmm. Yeah, how many 20 something males are in Heimdall? Can't be that hard, right? <laughs> Pretty much. I see a reason not to go to the pub. 
There might be drunk people there. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. So we'll take the hat with us, and then we'll try and find this guy. But there is something we can go check out now, actually. Um, I was talking about how there's a cutscene, like, up near the, um... The, um, Valflame Castle. And we can actually check that out now, and also there's a fishing spot right next to it, so we probably want to take care of that stuff anyway. So let's just do that while we're here. I guess so. Thanks for the input fee, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so hats off. So before we get going anywhere crazy, I'm just going to go ahead and do this cutscene right now. It is pretty crazy. True. It's smart. It's true. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Y'all showing up at the same time? What a coinky dink. Sure. That's what I've been told multiple times. Yeah, but we're kind of in the middle, so... <laughs> Pretty much. I like how Emma's like, Hey Fee, how you doing? <laughs> So sweet. Maybe so. Maybe it is just fate. I suppose so. Yeah, let's give our best out there. Oh, your sister's gonna be swamped, dude. You're making your sister cook for all of us? Like, you're insane, bro. Just give us a call on the Arcus when you're ready to talk. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be like that, but like, seeing Arcus in capital letters is pretty funny. Arcus! Get on the Arcus for us right now, please. Alright. So they're going to continue their stuff. I like how the frame rate just gets way better when they're gone, thank god. <laughs> Don't look at me while I talk, okay? I, you know, I feel the pressure. Alright, so there we go. Um, If you go over here also, there's going to be a fishing spot somewhere. This looks like a nice spot. Right there, if the game doesn't freak out. And there should be a new fish in here that we want to grab, so let's do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. Real quick. That's it right there. It's usually the first one, so... What? 
We're gonna get a trout. Cool. My first trout. Um, I think I'll go ahead and fish a couple times. I'll probably speed this up like always, just so I maybe get a few things. Who knows? Get the fish. Hey, I got it. Alright, there we go. So, get some more CP, get some more stuff. You never know when you need it. And with that, we should be good to go head over to, um, Aust District. See if we can find this guy and give him his hat. 